Welcome into the Extra Point presented by Global Motorsports in Cool Springs and Bell Mead for the world's best luxury imports at Nashville's best prices. Check them out at globalmotorsportsinc.com. And Zach, our last Extra Point was about the most well-liked NFL player. This one's about the NFL's biggest villain. What you got? I think I have the number one guy. Okay. I have never once in my entire life heard a good thing about this player. Okay. He's a quarterback. And he plays for the Chicago Bears. <laughs> it's Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler. You know what word you associate Jay Cutler with? What's that? Punk. Okay. Guy who doesn't care. Doesn't care about his team. Not willing to put it out on the line. Throws a ton of interceptions. A poor man's gunslinger. Because he's constantly throwing to the other team. Yeah. A bad player. Combined with an attitude of not caring. And an overall losing record. There's Jay Cutler as your villain. I think if you're talking about a true villain, there has to be some type of fear about that villain. Like, Gotham was scared to death of the Joker because he was blowing stuff up. Nobody's scared about Jay Cutler and the Chicago Bears. But you are worried about Tom Brady and the Patriots because they're going to win the Super Bowl again. And that's what we're trending towards. So in my mind, Tom Brady and the Patriots are or the biggest villain in the NFL. Tom Brady is the supermodel wife. How exactly. can you have a... That's not a he is villain. A, he is a villain because he cheats with... No, the, that's it, called respect, Holmes. That's straight respect Tom to Tom Brady. Tom Brady is a bigger villain than Jay Cutler. Now, Jay Cutler might be less liked than Tom Brady, but Tom Brady is a qualified villain because he's had success and people do not like that he's had so much success. What about James Harrison of the Pittsburgh Steelers? Runs his mouth, yeah. hits people hard and illegally, and he has the winning success under the Steelers. Right. I thought about James Harrison, and I also thought about Vontez Burfecht of the Bengals because Burfecht is taking people's heads off, but he's a linebacker. He plays for the Bengals, and he just doesn't have the profile around him to be the biggest villain of the NFL. I think he's in the top five for Burfecht. James Harrison, maybe five years ago he would be in this conversation, but he's 38, 39 years old, so he's less less of a villain now. All right, I'll throw a couple more names at you. All right. Richie Incognito, the bully, the man who, who completely terrorized another human being in the locker room. Again, flash of the pan villain. He had his moment. He had a couple episodes in Batman, but he's moved on. What about Indomitian Sue? Smash on your face, stomp you to the ground, and then kill you. I feel like since he's been with the Dolphins, he's been somewhat clean. More clean than he was with the Lions. Tom Brady is my biggest villain in the NFL, and you're going with who again? Uh, I'm going with Jay Cutler. <laughs> Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler is a meaningless villain in the NFL. But He still falls under the villain category, but you knock him out in level one of the video. Yeah, game. he's like the Riddler. He comes back and haunts you. <laughs> All right, that's today's Extra Point on A to Z Sports